Well, guys, it seems that this year will be amazing on the prosecution side. And obviously, the Department of Justice will be the main player on this. Just look at what was announced yesterday. The brand new initiative from Department of Justice targeting corporate clients and institutional investors stepping in forward if they see an illegal activity in the business, in the company. They have to step in and disclose everything prior to the actual Department of Justice start on investigation. This will help them to reduce the potential penalty or, you know, uh, the other consequences that could be coming from the potential investigation. The Department of Justice is announcing new rules to its criminal enforcement policy. That is the policy around which they prosecute companies for corporate wrongdoing. These new rules are all about incentivizing companies to disclose themselves any kind of wrongdoing that happened inside. And Assistant Attorney General Kenneth Poli Jr. is speaking right now at Georgetown Law Center, unveiling the new rules before law students there. Uh, part of this is the idea that companies need to come forward immediately to the Department of Justice whenever they have seen any kind of illegal activity. If they they do, they could be eligible for a declination, that is, a decision by the DOJ not to prosecute that case. There are three conditions, though, to that, is what Polite is saying today. He's saying that the company will have to demonstrate it's met three criteria. One is that its voluntary self-disclosure was made immediately upon the company becoming aware of the allegation. Two is that at the time of the misconduct and the disclosure, the company had an effective compliance program in place. And the third is that the company has to provide what they're calling extraordinary cooperation to the Department of Justice's investigation here. So you have to come forward immediately. You have to provide extraordinary uh, cooperation with the DOJ. Uh, and you have to have a compliance program in place at the time of the uh, disclosure. If you check all those boxes, you might be able to get out of a prosecution as a company. But what the DOJ is saying here today is that they want companies to come forward immediately upon dis discovering any kind of wrongdoing inside the corporate offices, Tyler. This will help essentially somebody in the company to point out to the Department of Justice that, hey, you know, our hedge fund or other managers or our strategies, you know, don't comply with the laws. We have done this, this, this. We spoof this company. We spoof this stock. We have done this. We have done that potentially. And why I'm saying the Department of Justice will be on focus this year because just in an hour, we heard the Department of Justice will be announcing a special co cooperative action targeting cryptocurrencies that is collaboration between them and FBI. <laughs> Nobody knows what is this about, but remember guys, we have a couple of different probes and investigations started in 2021, in the end of 2021, continuation to 2022, and uh, after the summer we haven't heard any update on this. We had a probe around the block trading, around... Uh, some of the big banks that provide this as a service. We had an investigation and still continuation around the, the, the Robin Hood saga. On top of that, we had a special Department of Justice investigation that was targeting uh, short sellers that profit massively for certain stocks. Remember, there were certain actions in their offices. They collected some hardware. So definitely in this year, if we're seeing the Department of Justice so active, we're most likely going to see updates on this potential investigation and probes from 2021, which is a very good year, especially considering that this year we might actually hit the market button and see the uh, expected reversal. I know what happened this morning. I know it's crazy. While everything was ripping, all the stocks, uh, all the crypto, and then at some point everything was slammed down. Uh, everything followed the spy, of course. Guys, remember, we're just what... 18 days into this year and we're already hearing a couple of different investigations and collaborations with the FBI and Department of Justice. And everything is targeting the public markets. They're focusing on this and definitely there will be certain uh, consequences behind it. Especially what happened with FTX. FTX most likely was the trigger of, you know, acting faster, you know, cutting corners. This is why they saw that with FTX, nobody respond, nobody comply in time prior to the actual blow up. So now it's very hard for them to identify. It will take so much time. Why would you think that they pushed the next, the next uh, date of the trial in November? Right? They, they allowed themselves 11 months to do so, to collect all, all the evidences, you know, to find as much information as possible. Now they try to cut corners and get some shortcuts. Uh, not only on the crypto sites and crypto firms, but also on the stock market, I believe so. Because uh, all of this information is, is getting harder to collect, is getting harder, you know, to identify and to validate. Because you need people to, hey, 
certify i've done this i've saw this happening i knew this was happening you know i can confirm this so this is why they create this special program in which allowing individuals working for the companies or the companies itself to step in and say you know okay we made 100 million dollars we've done this this is not or we 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 might you know cross certain laws or regulations so this is why guys we want to cooperate and we hope we can get you know some easy treatment over here i don't know what what do you guys think about this i spoke with people in crypto they're actually bullish on this uh, announcement from department of justice and, 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 and fbi because they're thinking that you know more regulations will bring more trust and people will actually you know will be investing greater amount of, of, of money simply because if we have regulations if everything is 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 publicly registered like like coinbase for example uh you know so far no issues i got very lucky uh, I, I didn't get scammed from any coin through 2022. I didn't get scammed from any exchange, uh, you know, knock on wood. I was lucky about this. So bringing more regulations on the crypto market might be a good news, at least for short term. But bringing more regulations on the stock market could be a bad news for some institutional investors, in my opinion. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.